Good morning. Today I am going to talk about a condition that affects the foreskin of the penis, condition called phimosis. This affects both newborn and infant boys, but also affects sometimes adults. This condition should not be confused with a condition called paraphimosis, which I am going to discuss in my next video. Although both conditions affect the foreskin of the penis, however, this is not an emergency, whereas paraphimosis is a medical emergency. So to try and explain what is phimosis, I've drawn a little picture of the male external genitalia. So this is the scrotum. This is the shaft of the penis. The red inside I've drawn is the glans penis, which is the head of the penis. This red line which joins the head to the shaft of the penis is called the corona or the crown. On top of the glands I have drawn with a black line over here with an opening in the front is the foreskin. Now obviously the glands have an opening which is the opening of the urethra through which the urine comes out and when the urine comes out or the sperm comes out it comes out of this opening in the foreskin and helps us pass the urine. Phimosis only happens in males who are not circumcised. Males who are circumcised do not get phimosis or even paraphimosis. What happens in phimosis that the opening of the foreskin becomes very tight and the foreskin cannot be pulled back behind the corona, which is this red line. There are two types of phimosis. One is called physiological and one is called pathological. The difference between the two is that physiological will settle down on its own, will not require any treatment. Pathological is the phimosis in which some treatment will be required. Physiological phimosis happens in every newborn and young boys. It usually settles down by the age of six or seven. Very occasionally it can go up to the age of 10 or 11. However, vast majority will be gone by the age of six or seven. When the child is born, the foreskin is normally quite tight. The hole is quite tight and it's not flexible enough to be stretched over the glands. As the child grows older, by the age of two or three, the skin starts becoming softer around the opening and can be stretched slowly on top of the head of the penis. By the age of six or seven, this opening can become much softer and can be pulled back all the way back behind the edge of the glands, which is the corona, and the whole glands can be exposed. Physiological phimosis, as I said earlier, does not require any treatment and is present in every newborn and young boy and will settle down with time. In pathological phimosis, what happens is that the skin around the hole of the foreskin gets very scarred and very tight and it cannot be pulled back on top of the glands completely. Either it can be pulled back only partially or it cannot be pulled back at all. And sometimes the hole becomes so tight that it is like a pinhole. That type of phimosis usually requires treatment. Pathological phimosis happens in children over the age of seven or eight when the foreskin cannot be pulled back and they develop these little adhesions which is like scar tissue between the foreskin which I have drawn in these little black lines all around. This scar tissue forms between the glands and the foreskin and does not allow for the skin to be pulled back. Same thing happens sometimes in adults that the foreskin opening can become very, very tight, like even a pinhole and the foreskin cannot be pulled back. The problem with this condition is that because the glands around it and the skin inside secrete secretions and those secretions form smegma, which is very thick, cheesy material, smells very foul, smells sour like cheese. If it's not cleaned regularly, they will develop infections in this area, both on the skin, which is the foreskin, and also on the glands. And this inflammation 
compounds the problem and makes the scarring around the opening of the foreskin even worse and makes the hole even tighter. And this repeated infections can cause the symptoms of phimosis. What are the symptoms of phimosis? Physiological phimosis usually have no symptoms. Occasionally, young children can get infection around this area or urine infection. However, that is extremely uncommon. Pathological phimosis may or may not have symptoms. Vast majority of patients who seek medical advice are getting symptoms from phimosis. And the main symptom they complain of is pain. Pain can be during intercourse, during erection, or could be during passing urine. Swelling redness happens in this area because of infections. When infections happen, the secretions can't be cleaned and repeated infections which are happening time and time again because this area can't be kept clean completely cause further scarring of the opening of the foreskin and it can't be pulled back even further and it becomes a vicious circle and compounds the problem. When the foreskin becomes very tight and the hole is so tight like a pinhole, the patient can't pass urine easily. And because the urine is not coming out freely, it collects between the foreskin and the glands and the foreskin bulges like a balloon and can be quite painful to the patient. What is the cause for phimosis? The main cause of phimosis is any problem which results in lack of hygiene. So the skin cannot be cleaned completely from inside or the glands can't be cleaned completely. And that results in phimosis. There are several conditions of the skin like eczema, psoriasis, sexually transmitted infections like gonorrhea, chlamydia or uh, syphilis and scarring which is called balanitis, xerotica obliterans basically means because the lack of hygiene the scarring happens and inflammation, infection happens in this area which causes the phimosis and also results in the adhesion formation between the foreskin and the glands which I discussed earlier and this stops the skin being pulled back further and resulting in further lack of hygiene and further infections. Diagnosis of phimosis is pretty straightforward at examination by a doctor. A doctor can easily see the scarring around the opening of the foreskin and also pulling it back is near impossible. What is the treatment for phimosis? Physiological phimosis does not necessarily require any treatment. Just keeping the area clean, washing with warm water, that's all that is important. Soaps, deodorants, powders should not be used to keep the area dry. There should not be any attempts to pull the skin back by force because remember, after a few years the skin will loosen up and it can be pulled back much easier. Forcing the skin back if it's not going back in a two-year-old or a three-year-old can cause pain and can even cause damage and bleeding. Pathological phimosis will require treatment especially if it is causing symptoms like pain, swelling, during micturition, infection etc. In that case if the skin is very tight around the opening then steroid cream application and slowly stretching the skin by pulling it back slowly as time goes on. Applying steroid cream and pulling it back will make it looser and hopefully it will start going back easily. In many patients with xerotica balanitis, the skin still does not go back easily because the scarring is too much. In that case, a circumcision will be required. Hope you found this video informative. If you did, then please do remember to like and subscribe. I'll be most grateful to you. And if you have any questions about this condition or any other condition, then do drop in a line in the comment section. I'll be very happy to answer your questions if I know the answer. Thanks again. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Take care.